my dear brothers, all these awrad prescribed by these pious servants of Allah are totally proven from the Quran and the ahadith of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For, ex for example, if we take Ratib Jalaliyah, composed by Sayyiduna Imam Al-Arus, Imam Mapilil Ibn Alim, radiyallahu tabaraka wa ta'ala anhu, what a service was rendered by him for the people of Sri Lanka. More than 360 masajid were constructed by Sayyiduna Imam Mapil al Alim radiallahu ta'ala. But unfortunately, all these masajid built by Sayyiduna Imam Mapil al Alim, we don't have all those 360 under our control today. Why is this? Even in Colombo, where there are hundreds of masajid, but for a Sunni Muslim to pray, to offer his prayer, he finds difficult to pray behind a Sunni Imam. Why is that? All these masajid were built by our pious predecessors. This was constructed by our forefathers. And we have given this masajid in the hands of the Tablighi Jamaat, in the hands of the Jamaatul Islam and Tawheed Jamaat people. What are we doing? We don't have a place to offer our prayers. A person living in Mount Lavinia, he has to come to Devatagaha Masjid, about 10 to 15 kilometers travel, in order to perform behind the Sunni Imam, a person from Ratmalana, he has to come to Maradana in order to make his prayer perfect. A person from other part, from Vattala, he has to come to Navala or Devatagaha to perform his prayer. Why can't they offer prayer in their respective areas where these masajid were built by Imam Alim radiallahu ta'ala? The reason is we have lost these masajid due to our negligence. Allahu Akbar. What is the negligence? Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. Thumma alhamdulillah. I have no fear to talk the fact. We find, and this I am telling because this is being recorded. And let this message go further. In a masjid of Ahlus Sunnati wal Jama'ah, you find five or six trustees. Let's say six trustees. All are from Ahlus Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Some Tablighi Jama'at people. They will also pretend like they are from Ahlus Sunnati wal Jama'ah. They will mingle with the people. They will make them present in the majlis of Burda Sharif, in the majlis of Ratib. They will attend those majlises. And when the time comes for the next election, they also will say, we also wanted to be nominated. We also want to become a trustee. People will think he is a proper person. He used to attend the majlis of Ratib. He used to attend the majlis of Qasida Burda Sharif. He used to attend all our programs. So why not we give him a chance as well? Finally, when the election is held, that person becomes a trustee who pretends to be from Ahlus Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. So now among six trustees, five are Sunnis. One is a Deobandi. One is from Tablighi Jama'at. This one person slowly convinces all other five trustees. Why not we invite a scholar who talk on general topic? Why not we invite a scholar who will talk only on the issues related to the families, on the issues related to the business, on the issues without talking any controversial topics. They will just talk only on the general topic. All the others will agree. They will invite a scholar who will be a Wahhabi, who will be a Deobandi, and he will pretend to be a Sunni. He will talk in his sermon, very general topic, in a good manner in a sweet voice as foretold by Nabi Kareem sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam that a time will come people will recite Quran in such a manner in a beautiful voice but it, what, it will, won't go below their throat Allahu Akbar while seeing their prayers you will take your salah as inferior while seeing at their salah, uh, fasting you will take your fasting as inferior Allahu Akbar these people will come and give lectures and all the audience, all the trustees will appreciate him. What a maulavi he was. What a good scholar he was. Slowly, again for the next time, he will be invited after a month or two months. Again, he will talk on the general topic. After some time, he will start preaching his own way. And slowly, all those trustees, five trustees who were from Ahlus Sunnati Wal Jama'ah, they will change their minds towards this person 
and finally they will see that talim is being held in the masjid founded by the people of ahlu sunnati wal jamaah they will find the translation of the quran done by the wahhabis in the masjid of ahlu sunnati wal jamaah negligence of the trustees my question here is when one person can convince five people to accept the works of tablighi -e jamaat why can't these five sunnis convince that one person to become sunnat wal jamaat to make him from ahlu sunnat wal jamaah we five people don't have that strength to convince that one person but this one person by pretending pretending to be a sunni he is convincing all other five sunni trustees this is what happening today and by this way we lost all our masajid today unfortunately we have very few masajid in colombo to offer our prayers are we sleeping what happened to us what happened to you all what happened to all of us we are just sleeping we just neglect this remember my dear brothers if we remain silent today a day might come tomorrow today there are five to six masajid to offer prayer for you tomorrow there might be a day that you won't find more than two masajid and after some time there might be a day that you won't find even a single masjid to offer your prayer behind sunni imam that time should not come my dear brothers for that sake you must educate your children the true aqeedah of ahlus sunnati wal jamaah 